This is the fifth video in our educational series, and in this video, we are going to confront the big elephant in the room, which is how are the non-ionizing, non-thermal harmful effects of RF energy not widely known? We will be discussing the timeline of past technologies and other harmful products that were widely accepted by the people and the scientific community before we discovered they were actually causing us harm. At any time during this video you like this content, please hit that like or subscribe button. Let's jump right in. Hello and welcome. My name is Ford Benning, the founder of 3Oxygen, which is a company that makes EMF blocking apparel. Right now, we actually only offer a men and boys line of underwear. We think this is the most pressing need of the market, given the location of where most men and boys store their phone, which is in their front pocket next to a very sensitive area. So in a nutshell, we make underwear that protects the family jewels from the harmful EMF or RF radiation that your cell phone and laptop emit. Like many things before, cell phone technology is relatively new. And with new technology, the euphoria of progress and advancement can cloud the judgment in evaluating the cost and dangers associated with that new technology. In fact, there very well could be uncertainties with adverse side effects. However, a look back at recent history can help us develop a better understanding of why these dangers are not immediately front page news. First off, cigarettes. In 1946, a famous advertising campaign debuted, toting the claim that more doctors smoke camel cigarettes than any other cigarette. With this classic appeal to authorities, advertisers sold consumers on the notion that if cigarettes are good and safe for doctors, then they must be good and safe for the general public. Au contraire. As early as the 1920s, scientists and researchers had established a link between lung cancer and smoking cigarettes. Yet nearly 30 years later, ads are being run deceptively suggesting that cigarettes are endorsed by doctors and are therefore safe. With the benefit of hindsight, we acknowledge that cigarettes are unsafe, but that was not always the prevailing consensus. Okay, next up, cars. In 1896, Henry Ford introduced his version of the combustible engine, and this technology ushered out the era of horse and buggy, and the world was changed forever. Cars, powered by this engine, created new frontier and new opportunities, and the world accepted this new technology with open arms, without hesitation. With the rapid adoption of this technology, safety and security were not front of mind. It took 60 years for us to install basic safety measures in automobiles. In 1955, that is when Dr. C. Hunter Shelton proposed the idea of a seatbelt. And you may be thinking, well, cars back then weren't going that fast. No, they were. In 1905 is the first time a car broke the 100 mile per hour milestone. Now the next technology we are going to cover is an x-ray machine. Now remember folks, x-rays admit ionizing radiation. The benefits of x-ray technology cannot be understated. From the inception in 1895 by Wilhelm Röntgen, the impact of x-rays is enormous. From standard use in the healthcare industry to modern use in airport security. However, in fancy, x-ray technology was not fully understood or comprehended when introduced to the general public. In fact, x-ray technology was deployed for entertainment purposes in opera houses and in shoe stores. Customers happily lined up to use the x-ray without fully understanding that use in a non-controlled environment and prolonged exposure posed risks to their health. It wasn't until the 1950s that we determined that this type of EMF is harmful and we need to reduce our exposure time. So far, we have seen that cigarettes, cars, x-ray machines were all happily used prior to a full understanding of any adverse side effects. All these effects were uncovered after the general public and the scientific community deemed it to be safe and were using it on a regular basis. Now, is it possible that the same thing could be happening with cell phones? The first cell phone call was made in 1973 by its inventor, Martin Cooper. And since then, the cell phone has evolved from a bag phone in your car to a personal computer in your pocket. And each advancement is exciting and creates new frontiers to be explored. With the introduction of 5G technology, cell phones will again experience a transformation. 
5G will virtually benefit all of society, but might it also have adverse unknown side effects? 30 years cigarettes, 60 years cars, 50 years x-rays, 48 plus years cell phones. Looking back at recent history, I would say it is entirely possible that the dangers of a widely used and accepted technology are not widely known. Wouldn't you? Buy three oxygen underwear and protect those family jewels. In closing, we want to be clear that 3Oxygen is not against technology. We support and love technology in the advancements it has brought us and will bring us in the future. You simply cannot measure the amount of good that the cell phone and the laptop have brought us. However, there is a small cost to all of that good and we protect you from that cost. We want you guys to enjoy all the benefits of these awesome tools without having to worry about any of the side effects. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you like this content, hit that like or subscribe button. Good talk and we'll see you next time.